the brain is an amazing organ. In this video, we will be discussing the ways that drugs interact with and change our brain. Let's talk about neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity means that our brains are always changing. In this image, the cool colors represent mature regions of the brain, while the warm colors represent developing areas of the brain. The brain keeps developing until about age 25. The prefrontal cortex, located right behind your forehead, is in charge of rational decision making, and it is still developing in teenage brains. The reward circuit, which is activated when we do things that make us feel good, is fully developed. When coupled with that still developing prefrontal cortex, teens are more susceptible to making less rational decisions, such as procrastinating on the night before a big test. Teens are therefore also more susceptible to addictive behaviors. Neurotransmitters are chemicals produced by the brain that allow different parts of the brain to communicate with one another. Dopamine is the essential neurotransmitter used by the reward circuit. Dopamine is released when we do something that makes us feel happy or rewarded, like when we're watching Netflix or playing basketball. The reward system is also the system that addictive substances hijack to make us addicted. This shows two neurons in the reward circuit. The presynaptic neuron releases neurotransmitters like dopamine, while the postsynaptic neuron receives neurotransmitters. When a substance like nicotine or alcohol enters our brain, it causes the presynaptic neuron to flood the brain with dopamine, which gives us a rewarding sensation. The brain begins to depend on this flood of dopamine to function normally, which causes permanent changes in the brain. This is how addiction starts. Over time, as the same amount of drug no longer elicits the same amount of reward, we require more and more of the drug to obtain that previous high. This dangerously high level of drug intake can lead to overdose or death. Addiction is characterized by compulsive drug seeking and use, despite the harmful consequences. Addiction is considered a disease because it causes changes in the structure and function of the brain. Addiction education is important for everyone, but is especially important for teenagers. As you can see in this graph, the age that someone first drinks alcohol is related to the likelihood that they struggle with lifetime alcohol dependence. The longer someone waits to start drinking alcohol, the less likely they are to struggle with alcohol use disorder. If we zoom in on ages 12 to 15, we can see that middle school age students risk a 40% chance of dependence if they were to start drinking at this age. Though nicotine is known to be harmful, use among teens is on the rise. The most commonly used product is an e-cigarette, with nearly 1 in 20 middle school students reporting use within the past 30 days. If smoking continues at this rate, 5.6 million of today's Americans younger than 18 years of age, about 1 in 13, are expected to die prematurely from a smoking-related illness. We hope that this short presentation has increased your understanding of addiction and furthered your interest. For more information, please see the VCAR education page. Thanks for watching!